All right, so um, let's talk about your financial situation first because we do have three pentacles card and, well, four pentacles card. And they're, you know, on either side of new beginnings and communication. So let's look at your financial situation and also the work environment. I do feel for a lot of you, um, you might be, for a lot of you, you might curb your spending. So I feel like whatever, if you've been like, you know, the bachelor in the past, okay, for example, um, I do feel that there is a sense of, you know, wanting to settle down, wanting to put down roots, wanting to travel, wanting some major, major big ticket item that you feel is going to drastically change your life. So this usually means, you know, buying property, going on a trip, relocating to a major, you know, somewhere that is far away. And you're feeling as if, okay, maybe you're feeling like you're underpaid wherever you are now. So you want to move to a bigger city where the locality pay might be a lot higher. Or you're thinking about changing your environment altogether and going somewhere uh, further south for a lot of you. I'm sensing a lot of southward movement and um, w to a warmer climate as well. So it's what I'm sensing. And um, I feel that once again, for those of you who have been pretty much, you know, unattached. And what I mean by that is, you know, without children, without mortgage, without obligations and things like that. And your tra if you have been in that situation, I feel like it was pretty much, you know, every man for himself and you were taking care of yourself. So you didn't really care about, you know, how much you're spending because you only had to be accountable to yourself. But I feel like as a result of buying this home, as a result of taking this new trip, or even, you know, being in a relationship, taking a relationship to the next level, having another person to take care of, incorporating another person into your life, I feel that it's a it's something that you're it's something that is forcing you. It's something like joint finances is what I'm sensing two people agreeing to, you know, pull their resources, I feel, two people that might have been walking on different paths are now coming together. So I'm feeling as if, you know, your spending habits might be very, very different. One person is like a, the splurger and the other person is the saver, for example, and you're coming into um, cross purposes with one another and you're trying to find a way to pull your resources where it doesn't feel restrictive. I feel like pooled resources is greatly indicative here. Um, at the same time, I feel that you're starting out the beginning of the month where you both are pulling in your resources and by the end of the month, you're realizing that it's causing a lot of conflict, it's causing a lot of friction. So I feel like you know, this separation of resources coming in again. So it, it's a very strange dynamics, but I, I don't feel serious breakups. I don't feel anything drastic. I just feel that you have to be creative as to how you can manage pool joint finances. I also feel that you have to be as well creative about not letting this affect the relationship is what I'm sensing. Um, I feel overall I feel overall one person in the relationship. So this can be you or another person or whoever you're romantically involved with or, you know, in a work partnership with. There's somebody that you're working very close in close proximity with and you're both managing joint finances. And I feel that one person places a lot of importance on financial prosperity. And this can be an earth sign that you're dealing with. And, you know, no matter what they are, queen, the knight or the page, I feel like, you know, this usually indicates some type of a family unit when the the three court cards in the same suit shows up. It could be, you know, somebody who has like a brother and then she also has a child and you're romantically linked up with her. Or likewise, it could be a male and he has like a sister or mother and then, you know, a child, something like that. I feel it's a family unit and that you're dealing with. And I feel that they might drain more of your financial situation and you feel that it might not be fair. So either way, there's a lot of emphasis on joint finances and one person putting a lot of stock into the um, potential of a relationship based on financial consideration. So it's not a good start already. You want to you know, work at this and, and work out the kings and try to fix it, okay? 
So that's what I'm sensing. It could be as well a joint work situation where everyone is trying to pull in their resources. And at the end, you feel that it's unbalanced. I feel like something is, is very, very off here. So it might not work out well, but you need to think creatively about how to fix this because I feel like you need to fix it. And you also need to make sure other people are accountable. You know, hold people accountable for what they're doing. Um, don't let things slide. So I feel that for a lot of you, this could just be family members, okay? People that you've known for quite some time, that you trust a great deal. And, you know, trust does not come easily for a Scorpio. And I feel that with Scorpios, um, once you let somebody into your inner circle, you don't do it lightly, but once they're in, they're pretty much in for life. And it's one of those things where you've already let them in and now you're, you're bickering over finances. Okay. So that's something to keep an eye out for. I do feel it's a harmless environment. Just let it pass, but also stand your ground. Okay. So I'm also sensing this, um, for a lot of you, there might be and sorry, so the earth signs, if I didn't mention earlier, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right? I feel that for a lot of you, work is going to figure very prominently um, in this month. I feel that a lot of you are dissatisfied with where you're working and you're also feeling under underappreciated and underpaid. And you're putting in a lot of the work, you're clocking in, you're working very diligently, and I feel that you're not being adequately compensated. So there's like rumors and, and things circulating around you where they're telling you, you know, ask for a pay increase because, you know, Sue, who works the night shift doing the same job as you, for example, is earning like, you know, twice what you're making. So if there are those rumors circulating around, I want you to get to the source of the truth rather than hearing everything or believing everything that you hear. Because there's a lot of lies, deception, confusion around your myths and people are not honest. Okay, so you want to just keep that in mind. And I, I definitely feel that, you know, it's nice to ask for a raise, but be realistic about, do some research, be realistic about what you feel your job um your your pay scale is okay so i feel like other people are, are kind of like steering you in the wrong direction so use your intuition i mentioned intuition for every scorpio video but you know try to keep that in perspective as well um, a lot of you might have recently re relocated for a new work environment and you're settling in. You're starting to make it, you know, you're starting to like buy furniture for the house. You're starting to um, make the, the house a home. And I feel like a lot of financial, you know, just uh, expenditures leaving your hands. And it's not going to be until the end of the month where you start to get a grip on it, okay? It's okay. I feel that you will be financially okay. And towards the end of the month, um, things will start to stabilize for you, okay? I also feel that, I also feel if there has been, um, if you are romantically involved with an earth sign, there might be some type of financial, you know, differences in spending habits and things like that coming through. And with the earth sign specifically, I do feel that it can work. It's just going to take some time. I feel like it's... Um, I, I feel like this person might be, okay, this is what I'm sensing. Um, they might be a little bit self-serving and they don't know it, okay? And um, they don't mean it, but I, I do sense that they, they just don't see outside of themselves. They don't see what you see. And it's really important to have some kind of a discussion because I feel like you're, you're, you're not expressing what it is that you feel about them and they don't know what they're doing wrong. So there's a lot of confusion and you're also reassessing if they're, you know, if, if it's like a, if it's somebody that you just started dating and you're kind of like looking at them, assessing whether or not they're boyfriend, girlfriend material, it's actually not fair to do that. So I, I feel like they're, they need to be told. And I know that sounds weird, but I feel that they don't know. So any communication guidance coming from you would help. I feel that towards the end, the middle of the month, they're starting to turn around. They're starting to be more helpful. And they're also starting to be more, you know, just um, 
more willing to follow your lead. So I feel that they look up to you. And then towards the end of the month, they're kind of like, they're okay. So I feel that if you're dating an earth sign, things have the potential to, um, to be very good if you work at it, okay? Because the other person is definitely willing to follow your lead and to work at it with you. So whatever it is, if you're encountering somebody who is kind of like uh, self-absorbed or they don't really, they do a lot of things that might tick you off, they're not aware of it. So it's really important to verbalize, okay? Anyways, moving on to the next sign that I'm seeing here. You have an air sign. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And I feel that for a lot of you, there is resentment. And I don't know which way it's coming from. I feel like, I feel like it might come from... I feel like it, it might come from the air sign, okay? Um, what the air sign is looking at, so this is male, female. There is a situation in the past where I feel like a lot of disappointments, a lot of like reneging on promises, arguments, fights, things that you can't salvage has happened between you and this air sign is what I'm sensing. And... Um, this air sign is not confrontational. You know, if it's a confrontational energy, I feel like it would come in from the Knight of Swords, okay? This is more of a, a, a person who is very matter of fact. They want to rationally um, understand where you're coming from. And they also want to understand and dissect a situation to understand all sides of the story. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is trying to just understand and um, but they are resentful because of all these, um, I would say, like dash hopes and things like that, promises that were not upheld. And it can be from you or from the other party, you know, because the energy flows both ways. But I do feel there is some type of explanation that needs to happen, that needs to come through and some type of uh, clarity. You know, it, it's sort of like a lot of fuzzy energies are around you and somebody's trying to somebody's trying to find their own closure so that they can move on. I do feel that uh, if you're dealing with an air sign, a lot of you are trying to make this situation work, but they're not cooperating is what I'm sensing. It's pretty much, you know, if it's, um, if it's like a, an ongoing issue and you feel like I'm going to give it my all because it's Valentine's Day, well, it's not going to happen. And I, I feel that you're just better off leaving it alone, okay? Because they are very resentful and air signs, um, once they decide to move on, they don't really come back. Okay. So, um, like a water sign can be convinced a fire sign can come in and out and earth signs. They like to work at things. They like to fix problems. Once air signs walk away, they don't really come back. So I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign and you're trying to appease them somehow, they're not dwelling on the positive. They're more, you know, thinking back at the past, holding grudges and, you know, trying to get you to explain your past actions so that they have the closure to walk away finally. And I feel like, you know, new beginnings can't come out of this. So I feel that you're better off giving yourself, you know, keeping things for yourself or just moving on on your own. So I definitely feel that it's a little bit troublesome in terms of dealing with other people. And um, I honestly feel like this is the month in which you're re-examining all your past relationships. I'm, I'm sensing. I, I, I was getting like a very similar energy for um, Pisces and also for Cancers. And I feel like it might be a water sign thing. And um, you're starting to re-examine, you know, just like what exactly went wrong with that relationship like 10 years ago, for example. And you're starting to, you know, pick up patterns I feel because I feel like everything is very cyclical it's like 10 years ago you dated this one person and and you know uh you said something very very minor and then it caused a blowout and then you both stopped talking I feel like something cyclical is happening and you're trying to make sense of it and you it, it feels like you know groundhog's groundhog day where things are happening over and over and over again. And you're starting to feel like, you know, is this my destiny or is this something I'm supposed to learn? And then once I learn it, I automatically break out of it. So this is what I feel is, is happening. So you're very, very accommodating and you're very much trying to appease another person. And I feel that it's in the spirit of learning. You're trying to figure out 
what you can do differently in order to make things work, okay? And this can be on the work environment. I feel for a lot of you, um, the troublesome energies can be love or work. And I feel like for m bigger, you know, chunks of you, it might be in a work environment. And I feel that um, there's a lot of communication and you have to act fast, okay? You have to be pretty swift and nimble on your toes. So I feel like with all the earth energy, there's a lot of stagnation going on with you. And um, mental clarity needs to be, you, you need to be in top shape when it comes to grasping information, grabbing opportunities, and also being able to recall information in a very systematic manner. So I feel like a lot is required of you and you can't drag your feet. So you have to start out this month with a more energetic energy, <laughs> energetic feel. Okay, so let's, um, this period of waiting is over. So you really need to be active here. I also feel that, you know, the, both of these cards indicate, you know, taking a rest. And then um, you're away from it and you start getting comfortable and then you start to, you know, um, put your stuff down and then you can't really resume the conflict or whatever situation it is when it calls for it. So I feel that there's a very slow moving energy about you this month, Scorpios. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. And I feel like for a lot of you, it could just be, I feel like for a lot of you, it could just be the sun in, um, the sun in Aquarius. And then it's going to clear up when the sun moves into Pisces. I feel that the the Uranian Aquarius energy is more like getting information on an intuitive level. And I feel that you're not used to that. You're, you're not used to getting information through the, the uh, crown chakra. You're used to getting information through, you know, the intuitive sense. So this is a, it's throwing you off and you don't know, you know, you're, you're feeling jittery. So I feel like you don't really know when to act. So timing might be a little off. I feel for a lot of you, there might be an earth sign in your mist who intimidates you, you know, romantically or even in a work environment, somebody who's very high functioning and they intimidate you and your, your sense of timing gets thrown off because you feel emotionally overwhelmed and then you overthink and, and then things just don't happen. Your sense of timing is off. Okay. So that's what's happening for the first, until the 21st. And then things will start to clear up when um, when the sun moves into Pisces. I also feel as well that um, there is, with the air sign, they're talking like a mile, you know, a hundred miles a minute. And you're, you have to recall all the information. So it would be good for you if it's a work, uh, like a supervisor, a boss. Tell her to slow, tell her or him to slow down. I feel like they're walking and then you're like following them and uh, they're, they're saying things that you have to like, you know, recall or at least absorb on the spot. And it's just not humanly possible to do that. So you want to tell them to slow down or you want to carry a notepad, tape recorder, whatever it is, or a voice recorder, not a tape recorder. I don't know if people use that anymore, but you know, like a voice recorder. And to get all the information so that there's no mix-up in information exchanges, okay? So I definitely feel that that's something that would be really useful for you. I feel that I'm getting like some kind of voyage. I'm getting, you know, if you can, please avoid traveling by boat this month. I'm sensing some, some type of system where there might be uh, miscommunication. There might be like a high tide, unanticipated, you know, flooding or something like that. If you're in a flood zone, be very careful. I feel that coming through. And as a result of it, I feel like it might affect your home environment. It might also affect your financial situation because you're, I feel like there might be repairs that are needed. And as a result, that's where the financial outflow is, um, is happening. Okay. So Get flood insurance for your home if you are in an area that is uh, susceptible to it. I feel that, you know, by the fifth or so would be the best option. Try to get some flood insurance. I feel there is some situation with high tides. And, you know, especially if you are going on a voyage in a cruise, on a cruise, just be very careful. Okay, just be very, very careful and... um 
honestly, try to avoid it if you can. Yeah, try to avoid it if you can. Um, I don't know. It's it's a pretty straightforward uh, reading, Scorpio. I'm not really picking anything else. I just feel that um, with the Earth sign as a romantic partner, things will start to clear up. As an air sign, it's a little bit problematic, okay? Uh, I definitely feel, though, overall, the energy is that... Um, it's almost like the cards are telling me now I, I can't remember the reading for last month but it's almost like the energy is telling me once again um, that series of bad luck the hardship is over that's what it wants to tell you and it's kind of like you know stop wallowing in the self-pity and get out there I feel that a lot of you might be intimidated about going out and dating again a lot of you might be intimidated about going out, playing the field, or dating again. You feel a little bit out of your element for some reason, is what I'm sensing. And because of it, it the cards are saying, this is actually a very, very good uh, month for you to date and for you to find love and for you to you know, show others how, con how devoted you are, show your assets. But I do feel that the people you're interacting with it's hard to catch their eyes. I feel like, you know, this guy is coming in for this woman. She's preoccupied with other things. And I feel like, you know, these two people are preoccupied not with each other, but with other things. And then back here, you're pursuing somebody and they're preoccupied with other things. So I feel like it's a little bit of a bumpy ride, but I do feel that it's a good month for you to date. Okay. For those of you in committed relationships, um, I feel that things are going to be okay, but I feel like work is greatly hindering the romance in the relationship. Work and financial considerations and spending and, you know, just um, especially emotional spending. And, you know, when you have a bad day and you feel like, I know what would make me feel better if I buy this really expensive designer purse, for example, something like that. And you really want to curb that. So I feel like for those in coupled relationships, a lot of you are starting to, you know, take the relationship to the next level, like getting married, getting engaged, having joint bank accounts, and you're starting to realize you're very different and you have to curb your spending in order for things to work. It's a minor fix. So, you know, if it's worth it, do it. So for those of you who are... Um, <clears throat> single I feel like it's a little bit difficult on the dating scene for those of you who have recently recently gotten you know divorce I feel that the cards are saying you know very clearly that um if you have recently you know gotten divorced within three months and your friends are like telling you you need to get out there and date and rather than taking you out they're kind of like leaving you alone I feel that you need to do some healing first before you get out because I feel that there's a sense of low co um, confidence, okay? And um, it shows me that basically um, if you're operating from a place of like low self-esteem, the energy that you project is not nice. So you want to be very careful about that. I also feel for a lot of you, for a lot of you, I feel very strongly you're dating people of a very different culture, ethnic group. And, you know, like uh, one person is very, there's just like, you know, complementarity. Like one person might be darker skin, one person might be paler, you know, interracial dating and things like that. And um, it's it's really, really nice. But I feel that the, the cultural divide is something that might hinder the start of the relationship. Once you get over that first initial hump, then the relationship will pan out very beautifully, okay? So if you're not used to, like, you know, interracial dating for what, if you're not used to that, I feel that it is going to take some time before things get off the ground, but it's very worth it. So the initial attraction is very, very strong, but I feel that in the process of trying to work together as a unit, it might be a little bit shaky and wobbly, but then if you work at it, it can take off and it can go the long haul. I do feel that for a lot of you, um, the people that you meet this month, 
is going to be very good for you. And they might be foreigners. There might be a lot of foreigners. There might be some somebody who's very, very different from you. Okay, I, I'm sensing accents. I'm sensing like somebody very exotic coming through and pro probably of darker complexion. So that's what I'm sensing here with this whole Pentacles family um, cluster. So Scorpios, get out there and date. And um, I feel like communication might be a little bit troublesome but I do feel on an intuitive level we are all humans and it will flow if it's with the right person it will flow and I do feel you can convey the whatever it is that you want to convey just by looking in their eyes so I definitely feel something very uh, romantic exotic is in store for you when it comes to dating this uh, month okay 